here's a question for you. When's the last time you wrote a thank you note? Mm -hmm. One like man a is making one. Right. Not, Not a like text. a text. Yeah. That was great, dude. Bing. No. Yeah. We're talking about taking the time to put some pen on paper, mm -hmm. put a stamp on it. Yeah, that thing called the stamp, and you put it in the mail, you know, the U.S. Postal Service. I, I think they make more of an impact. I do too. Right? And it's such a nice surprise to get something like that in the mail. Well, this, uh, this man is on a mission to do just that, but not just one, writing five a day for an entire year. His name is John Israel. He joins us on the phone this morning. John, thank you for being here. So uh, people must be doing a lot of nice things for you. Five thank you notes a day for a year. Tell us about it. Yeah, it's been a it's been a pretty extraordinary journey, um, and it's absolutely changed my life, changed my family's life, and uh, and it's 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 pretty exciting to wake up every day and um, almost every day uh, I wind up getting a thank you letter in the mail from somebody, you know, whether they they've received one of my notes or they've just heard about this experience in the journey, and um, it's it's pretty exciting to see who it's impacting. So, what uh, was the reason for this? What stemmed this? Yeah, so the funny thing is, as, as a business, like as a, a profession, I am a gift salesman. So I work for Cutco Closing Gifts, and basically I, I sell gifts to businesses and business owners to give away to their favorite clients. And I set this mission forth a year ago that what I was going to do as a, as a mission for my business is to elevate the level of gratitude on the planet. You know, when someone gives a gift, they're expressing gratitude and making somebody feel good. And, you know, I did, a, I did that for about a year, and it really positively impacted my business. And, but I, I had to think about it, and I was like, well, this is, this is great to help other people do, but how am I embodying it? How am I doing it myself? And if you ask, you know, 20 people who knew me, what do you know about John Israel? I don't think any of them would use the word gratitude to describe me. They might say some good things, but that wouldn't be how they think of me. So I thought, man, how can I embody this? experience of gratitude every day of my life and I've always had a great experience writing thank you notes and receiving them so I thought you know what would be a mission that number one I could do every day that would challenge me keep me in a grateful state consistently and also you know impact other people's lives and so that's what really started the mission. I, some of these notes John I, and I'm not sure if they're notes that you've written or that you're getting seem pretty long I mean what, what are in these notes? So it, it depends on the individual um, you know, I, I write them to a variety of people. Sometimes I write them to a client, uh, a family member, a friend. So a couple of things in there, if they do something for me, I try to acknowledge that. But a lot of them are really for people who might not even know me. Um, you know, the, the pilots on the plane or the Uber drivers are the common ones people, um, you know, point out that are kind of unique. Because what I try to do is acknowledge who this person is and all the challenges that they go through and, and really what they do to, I guess, be a part of our society and a part of the world. And I just just try to pour it all out, and that's what shows up on on the page. And and um, it's been pretty amazing for any times I've had to re-interact with people who've gotten a note like that. Um, it's just you get to see them for who they are and the impact they make in the world. Wow. Well, John, I hope you inspire a lot of people to maybe uh, think about doing something like this in the age in which we live, where technology is just the easy way out. You know, sending a text or a quick email. Uh, going back to something like this means a lot more.